Hey everybody, Zachary from Zachary Zoo Adventures. I am in Alexandria, Louisiana, and today I'm visiting the Alexandria Zoo. I am wearing my own hat, as you can see, my own Zachary Zoo Adventures hat. As I said before in my other videos, I love to wear this hat all the places I go to. Protects my forehead from being burnt from the sun. Now, it's a bit of an overcast day. It's actually supposed to rain today. I checked the forecast and it says it's supposed to rain at 9 o'clock. The zoo opens at 9 a.m., but thankfully I don't feel any raindrops right now. So, hopefully I'll be able to be done with the zoo in time before the rain. I did bring my umbrella just in case, but thankfully it's supposed to be nice and drizzly. So, I'm going to show you the paper map that was given to me at the entrance. And then we'll see which one we get ahead. Alright, so this is the paper map that was given to me at the entrance. It looks like it's a pretty good sized zoo, but in my opinion, it looks more of a mid sized zoo. So I am over here and I'm going to start going off in this direction to the spider monkeys and make my way through this trail here. And hopefully, I'll be able to see everything before the rain comes. Got a white nose Coty. There's a Coty right here. See two of them. Really cute animal. Sick and one right there. Oh, no, there's two of them. There's three of them out. Some very cute animals. I'm going to go up this boardwalk to South America. We got Scarlet Macaw. I see two of them right there. Now these guys are very beautiful birds. Ah! So over here are the train tracks where they usually have the train. You can see right down there. However, because of the rain today, I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough time to ride the train. We've got Squirrel Monkey. And there's Squirrel Monkeys up there. Another one right there. These guys are really cute. I'm gonna go this trail to Land of the Jaguar. And here we got Puna Teal, Sharp Wing Teal, Bing Teal, South American Comb Duck, Silver Teal, and Cleo Wingen. Uh, that's a nice pocket of duckies. So you see a duck right down there. Hi, duckies. Hi, ducky. Oh, looks like you're going for a swim. No ducky here. Yeah, I honestly don't see the rest of the birds in here, and all I see are the little duckies. You know, Parscaroba swan. Swan's right down here. Just like the rest of the ducks are in here. It's really nice. We got spider monkey. Spider monkey do have a really nice habitat. See them right there. Well, oh, I see one up in the tree. Yeah, there's one up in the tree. And the two they are climbing. An additional habitat for the spider monkeys. There are a lot of places for them to climb on. And a koi. See them all in the water right there. We got high essence macaw. And the high essence macaws. They're squawking. Guess they're having a conversation with each other. Hi birdies. How are you? And a golden lion tamarind. Golden lion tamarind right there. Get its head out. It's the habitat for him. It's really nice. We got Chilean flamingo and Galapagos tortoise. The Galapagos tortoise is right here. Yes, yeah, so the flamingos and tortoises share the same habitat. You see. 
the flamingos have all this water for them to be in, but all I see are the tortoises, so so I'm doubtful I'm going to have enough time to come back here, but hopefully I will be able to before the rain comes. Here we got Black Neck Swan and Yellow Spotted Amazon River Turtle. And this swan here is just making some noises. Will he stop making those noises? I think I've ever heard a bird make that noise. Let's see the turtle. The yellow spotted Amazon River turtle in the water there. Okay. He's trying to talk to his other guy, Care. Got Scarlet Ibis. See the Scarlet Ibis right there. The Crested Screamer. The crested screamers are in the back. See two of them in the back right there. Alright, so as I was checking out the crested screamers, the flamingos came out. These really pretty birds. We got parrots and we got green cheeked Amazon. Yellow-headed Amazon, we got blue-fronted Amazon, and yellow-colored macaw. See the parrots right there and the tree just hanging out together. I see some duckies. The quack quack right there. Now I currently do not see the other macaws or parrots. I think they're probably inside there or, or dry. Let's take another view of the spider monkeys. See them climbing around right there. Oh. It's really active. Alright, we got jaguar, we got Madeiras, and Bibu. Yeah, so this is the habitat of the jaguars, and I don't see them. I am looking for them. We got Sun Conyer. Sun Conyer making lots of noises. Some of them there. Another one. Come here, we got Patagonia and Kathy. Red rumped agouti and capybara. There's the Patagonian cavies. Roll them the back there. To the red rumped agouti. There's a chicken in there. It's a rooster. And a black howler monkey. There's one right here. Oh, that's the female. Two males up there on the tree. Three of them. That's the same other side view of the jaguar's habitat, and I do not see him, but I'm assuming he's probably somewhere in the back right there. And because of the rain today, I don't think most of the animals are going to be out, but. Hopefully I'll be able to come back here later, but I'm not quite sure if I'm going to have enough time to because of the rain. Additional habitat for the jaguar, and I see him right there. Hi, jaguar. Just pacing back and forth. Oh, that's a beautiful kitty cat. You know, Brazilian tapir. There's a habitat for the Brazilian tip here. I do see the capybaras are in here. So door is closed, so I don't see the Brazilian tip here anywhere. So if I have time, I'll see if I can check back here later. We got Caracol. Caracol's got a really nice habitat. I do not see him, but, oh, 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 I see him, he's in that log there. Yeah, I can see him right there in that log. Hanging out. 
probably much drier in there from the rain. We got giant anteater and Patagonian cavi. This is the anteater's habitat, and I'm assuming he's inside. But instead, I actually do see some Patagonian, or well, one Patagonian cavi in here. We got Chinese alligator. That's the alligator right there. I'm gonna much better view from from here. We got the crocodilian habitat. Some information about the crocodilians. We got broad snouted caiman. Here's the caiman. It's hanging out in the water right there. Over here is another view of the Brazilian tapirs. Also, you can see the capybara right there. Got another great view of them. We got the future site of Amazonian Station. And it says here it's going to be a new reptile fish invertebrate habitat, so that'll be really nice. And the other side view of the black howler monkey. See them up at the top. There's two of them. Alright, so I finally found a stationary map of the whole zoo. See, I am right over here by the yellow dot. So I'm make my way past the Terra, make this full loop around the Andean condor and around South America over here. And after that, I'm going to make my way up toward past the main dwarf and towards the African lion up there. We got Terra. There's a Terra. I don't think I've ever seen this type of animal at a zoo before. It's my absolute first time seeing this type of animal at a zoo before. Alright, so in addition to the map, they also have signs pointing in different directions. So I'm going to go towards the right, towards the kangaroos and lions. Yeah, closer view the cat. Patagonian copy sphere. And the King Vulture. See the vulture. And now on that pole right there. And the Andean Contour. Uh, that's a very big bird. Looks like he's spreading out his wings. Condor just have a nice habitat. Then we got Andean Bear. And the Andean Bear is in the water here, cooling off. It's not very hot today, but I guess it feels good for him. Hi, Bear. Hi there. Is it nice and cool in there for you? <laughs> you enjoy talking to animals sometimes. Man, he's super cute. Reminds me a lot of my dogs at home. However, my dogs don't really like swimming, but it does remind me of the dogs I see at the dog park that go in the water all the time. Oh, must be a very good swimmer. We got Lenny's two-toed sloth. And with the sloth, we got military macaw. And blue and gold macaw. Alright, you see the macaw right there up in the tree. I see the military macaw and a second blue and gold macaw in the box here. I'm doing my best to find the sloth. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, so I do see the two toed sloth, but he's all the way in the back right there. He is over here on this corner here in the tree so I'm not going to be able to have enough time to come back here but that's what I'm aware of anyway but I'll do the best I can to see if he comes out here we got black swan and Australian wood duck I see the wood ducks right here and here I'm making some noises Let's see the black swan there 
We got the Australian walkabout. We got Snake Neck Turtle. There's a Snake Neck Turtle's having a nice habitat. It's right down here. A second one. And here we got Red Kangaroo, Red Necked Wallaby, and Emu. And home Sweet Pouch. Oh, that's a nice habitat. The kangaroo right there. There's the emu. There's a second emu right down here. The right next to the wallaby, all the way in the back. A second kangaroo coming out. We got maned wolf. I see the wolfie right there. Yeah, he's so cute. Makes me miss my dogs at home. We got Red River Hog. Oh, the Red River Hogs do have a really huge habitat. There's two of them. There's one laying down and a other one standing up. <laughs> They're squealing. Oh. Squealing like a real pig. As you can see the red wolf from the other side. Since these are right next to the red wolf habitat, so I guess he sees the red wolf. Yeah, sounds cute. Alright, so I'm showing you the map again so you can see where I'm at. I'm right over here where I saw the red river hog. So I think I'm going to go down this trail here. Then make my way to the Red Wolves and see this area here where all the animals from North America are. And then I think I'm going to make my way over here to the Cougars and then the Clouded Leopard right over there. Alright, I'm going to head this way to the Louisiana Habitat. Alright, Louisiana Habitat. Alright, first up we got Alligator Snapping Turtle. Alligator Snapping Turtle's right there. Oh, that is a huge turtle. Louisiana's wetlands. Some information about the Louisiana wetlands. We got the river estuary where the river meets the sea. Alright, there we go. Turtles, alligators, and fish. And common mammals of Louisiana. We got American beaver, muskrat, Virginia opossum, spotted skunk, striped skunk, and chipmunk. Does anyone know these are and this habitat does not seem to have any animals in it, but you know it says mammals of Louisiana, I don't think that means anything is in here. Well, common fishes of Louisiana got white crappie, flathead catfish, spotted gar, largemouth bass, bluegill, and channel catfish. Alright, there's a gar. See, there's a gar right there. Some really nice tank. See so the alligator gar from above. A common reptiles of Louisiana. A diamondback terrapin, river cooter, juvenile alligator, Mississippi map turtle, painted turtle, and red-eared slider. Another view. That's really nice. Migratory and resident birds. Now, so this habitat doesn't seem to have any animal in here, so I do not really see anything in this habitat. Alien invaders and got lionfish, zebra mussel, nutria, fire ant, and formosan subterranean termite. And at this tank, all the names of the mammals and alien invaders, they don't really have those here, that's just information about them. 
We do have a really nice fish tank here. We got a raccoon. Oh, this is nice. Raccoon just jumped up on the thing. It looks like there's some treats. Second raccoon. There's a nice little dungeon there for them. Because if you heard with how raccoons can actually sometimes get into garbage cans and steal your trash and this is something that they find interested in. Nice habitat. We got this nice ducky pond with all the duckies. You can definitely smell the duckies too. <laughs> we got Florida Sandhill Crane. Sandhill Crane. See, you can see snap. Ooh, the second one. See two of the birdies. Common ibises of Louisiana. Got white faced ibis, white ibis, glossy ibis, American white pelican, and roseate spoonbill. Roseate spoonbill. So the different types of ibis there. There's the American white pelican. And usually I'd see the brown pelicans on days where I go to the beach, and sometimes when I go to the beach, I'd usually see the brown pelicans. These guys sometimes can actually be very aggressive, especially around people who are fishing. And they can actually steal your fish from you. That's why I recommend you never should feed the wildlife. Well, that's a nice habitat here, and I see a juvenile alligator right here. Really cute. Of course, you wouldn't want to pet these animals because they'd probably bite you. It's time for all the types of birds in this here. and got wood duck, redhead, hooded merganser, blue winged teal, green winged teal, northern shoveler. Northern Pintail, um, American Widgeon, and Common Gold Eye. Some duckies here. So nice. There's a hooded merganser right here. Some ducks here who are sleeping. We got Blue Crown Night Heron. Some duckies. It's nice. We got alligator car. We also got spiny soft shell turtle, mud turtle, river cooter, and red eared slider. Now, so I am looking for them. I do not see the turtles or the. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. I see a spiny soft shell turtle climbing up on land. I do not see the other turtles or the gar, gar in here. There's a lot of reflection in the water, and the water is kind of a little dark and murky, so it's kind of hard to see them. We got Bobcat. Yeah, and then I do see Bob. There's two of them. She's so going to the other one over there. Oh, these guys are really cute. Ooh, we just jumped onto the ladder. Can't climb down. Oh, he's going down. He's climbing down. Oh, he's so cute. I got a maritime alligator. The American alligator. It's much larger than the juvenile alligator. Right, from this angle here, you can actually see a second alligator. Here's its tail there. We got a North American river otter. Uh, the otters have a nice habitat. 
Oh, so I do see the otter. He's actually underneath that log. I do see him there. We just have lots of water for him to play in. You can kind of see him moving around in that log there. He's there. You see, Otto came out. You can see him right there. He looks so cute. Oh, it looks like he's coming out. Right here, right there. Oh, I think I see a second one. Yeah, there's a second one over the right there. Oh, here it comes. Sometimes it always pays to wait. It's really cute. I can see a second otter poking his head out. There's actually a third one. Actually, he sees a movement. There's actually was three of them in this log here. It's kind of a cute animal. Third one sticking his cute little head out. Uh, I see both the otters are now out of their log. Mm. There's another view of the North American River otters. They're a really nice habitat for them. There's three of them, but one of them just went in the water. I think they're still in the log. Oh, here it comes. Going on the bridge. Oh, he's so cute. And here he comes. Oh, here comes the other one's running. Oh man, these guys are super cute. It's the underwater view of the North American River Otters. Over here is the underwater view of the alligators. You can see his tail in water. I can see his snout from above. Yeah, a barred owl. Barred owls up here. Hi, Mr. Owl. This here's the lower viewing of the bobcat habitat. The bobcat right up above us. It's so cute. Hi, cute cat. Hi there. Oh, looks so cute. Got diamondback terrapin. That's a habitat for him, and I see him. He's right there. I can kind of see him. Got snakes of Louisiana. So here we got a Cambrai Gradle snake right there. Sometimes there's a speckled king snake. I am looking for the snake, and I unfortunately don't see him anywhere. Right, so I did find the king snake, but unfortunately he's all the way in the back. You can't see his stripes. He's all the way in this corner here. We were down underneath the dirt. This habitat has a western hognose snake. You see his head right there. There's his there you can see him there. Eastern diamondback gravel snake. Right there. Here, there's actually two different habitats. And here, I got a Louisiana milk snake and pygmy rattlesnake. This is a pygmy rattlesnake right there. And I currently do not see the Louisiana milk snake anywhere. The Texas rat snake. Rat snake is up against the glass. Cotton mouse in this habitat. It's right there. And seriously, Louisiana pine snake. 
to all these different layers here because he like to be underground, but I do not really see him anywhere at the moment. Here are all the venomous snakes that live here in Louisiana. We have non-venomous and venomous snakes. And venomous snakes. And that's the underwater view of the alligator gar. Oh, I see the turtle right here. And there's a turtle. Well, unfortunately, I do not see the alligator gar anywhere. And got an alligator snapping turtle. I see them. There's three of them. You can see them much better from above. There's a bunch of them. Wow, that's a lot of snapping turtles. We got this nice tank here. We got Gritter Siren. Siren right there. You can see him in the back right here, his, his body. We got Lesser Siren. A siren right here. So I'm showing you the map again so you can see where I'm at. I am over here still doing Louisiana wetlands. So I'm going to go this way. So I started off over here. So I'm right over here by the white-tailed deer. So I'm making my way past the red wolves and then I'll go past the tigers and make my way up towards the African lions. I'm a bald eagle. Bald eagle here. A pretty bird. Usually bald eagles are not captive in zoos because usually are normally rescued by zoos because they cannot survive out in the wild. Which is why so you can see there's no fence here that prevents it from flying away because since it's injured it can't fly away. We've got Louisiana black bear. Let's beat the bears. Two of them. One's eating its vegetables, and looks like the other wants some. So the black bears have lots of water to be in, a really good sized habitat. You got turkey vulture. So I'm trying to find a turkey vulture, and I'm not seeing it anywhere. I will do my best to come back here later to see if he's out. Because this habitat does not seem to have any animals in here, so I do not really see anything in here. So I found a turkey vulture. He's actually in this habitat that I saw didn't have any animal in it. And it's inside there. It looks like he's having some vegetables. This habitat is a white-tailed deer. It's actually the habitat for the white-tailed deer, but unfortunately I scared it on accident. This is a sign for the white-tailed deer. Uh, so it turns out I misspoke, and this habitat here that I thought didn't have anything is actually the habitat for the deer. And it turns out the turkey vulture and white-tailed deer share the same habitat. You see the deer right there? Unfortunately, I scared it on accident. Hi, deer. I'm sorry I scared you. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm so sorry about that. We got a red wolf. Uh, this is the red wolf habitat. See the red wolfy right there. It's a pretty animal. Another view of the red wolf. It was just there, but he ran off. It's actually another wolf right there in the back. Second one. Here comes the other one. No one coming. It's behind all these trees. Oh, oh. There we go. There's the wolfie. We got cougar. I, I just let them out. See, there's one there. Second one. Oh, the second one just came in. I see the cougar. He's right up close here. Hi, sweetheart. How you doing? Hi, kitty cat. Oh, he's so beautiful. Here comes the second cougar. 
A Puffles squirrel. And the squirrels. Actually making them hear little noises. This looks like over here is a tiger habitat, but it looks like they're doing some renovation on it. It's supposed to be a new habitat open up very soon. This habitat for the tiger is going to be demolished, so the tiger will have a new habitat. It's nice how the zoo raises funds, so the animals have a new habitat for them. And a clouded leopard. The clouded leopard's habitat is really nice. Now, I do see the clouded leopard, but you can actually see his tail. No way back there. Try not to zoom in so quickly because I'm afraid it will focus on the fence. You can see his tail. His tail is right over here. But if I have time, I'll see if I can come back here later just to get a better view of him if he comes out. The African crowned crane. It's the same habitat as a crane. There's this duck in here, I believe, or a swan. Don't really know what kind of bird this is, but just in case you know, I recommend you do a timestamp comment. That way I'll know what it is. Or just type in the time of the video. That way I'll know what you're talking about. Cranes in the back having a snack. And a Palawan peacock pheasant. See the peacock pheasant. I believe that's a female because I'm sure the males have much prettier feathers to impress them. It's a nice habitat for them. Got Reeves Munchak. Munchak is all the way over there. Just laying down. Now, so this habitat used to be home to Siamangs, but unfortunately they've been moved to the Milwaukee County Zoo in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So unfortunately I'm not going to be able to show it to you, so this is what they look like. It's also going to be a new habitat for one of the tigers. So this is where the habitat they used to be in. We got the Asian deck. We got Lowland Danoa. Oh, that's a nice habitat. And again, I believe this is my first time seeing this animal at a zoo before. Well, that's what I'm aware of anyway. Kind of looks like a buffalo. He's coming. Here it comes. Hi there. Hi, Anoa. Hi there. I know I'm not expecting them to say hi back. I'm just being polite to them. Looks like he's gonna drink of water. He's gonna drink of water here, it looks like. It's a cute animal. He's got Indian blue peafowl. And the peacock's actually in the same habitat as the Anoa. It's a beautiful bird. We got fennec fox. Oh, that's a fennec fox's habitat. You see him right there. Oh, he is so cute. We got crested porcupine. Oh, that's the porcupine's habitat. I'm looking for them. Right, so it's not seem like the porcupine is out yet, but hopefully I'll be able to check back here later. Alright, African experience. We got dwarf crocodile. That's right, a nice habitat for the crocodile. And I do not really see it anywhere at the moment. It's additional habitat for the crocodile and I don't see it, so I will do my best to come back here later. Right, so over here is another view of the crocodile, and he's actually underneath the bridge there, you can kind of see him. He is right under the bridge, he is under the bridge here. I'm not sure if it's going to be able to show up on camera, but he is there. Alright, Africa. These lemurs you see here are not real ones, those are just reproductions of them. So we got Spurside Tortoise, Aldabra Tortoise. And Greater Flamingo. 
As I see the spur thigh tortoises right there. It's a nice habitat. You can see through the Aldabra tortoises. There's a greater flamingos in the back. We got African lions. Where is the lion's habitat? Ooh, I see the male lion on the rock right there. Just laying down. The lions do have a really nice habitat. I come over here, we got a good view of the lion nest and the male. We got both the view of the male and female. Another side view of the lion habitat. See, there's the male lion. We got a good view of the female lion right there. Alright, so I'm showing you the map again so I can see where we're at. I am over here. So I'm gonna head down the trail here past the Nile Crocodile and the Cassowary. And it'll take me back to the entrance. And then I'm gonna do a rewalk around to the other animals I missed the first time. I got an Isle Crocodile. I see the crocodile. It's a pretty big croc. See the ha the ha nice habitat. It does have a lot of water for him to be in. And a double waddled cassowary. The little cassowaries up there and back there. And a laughing kookaburra. The kookaburra sitting on the branch there. Alright, so right at the kookaburra and now crocodile and the cassowary, I just just finished seeing those animals as this completes my initial walk through around the zoo. So I am going to take this opportunity to do a rewalk and perhaps get some other views of some of the animals and mostly just see some of the animals I missed the first time. You can see I'm wearing my sunglasses now because the sun came out and thankfully the rain is supposed to be postponed until 1 o'clock this afternoon. So I'm having a fantastic time here. So. I think we'll be able to do a rewalk around the zoo and I'll see what I'll see. So I came back to see the tip here so and I still don't. Oh, 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 no, hang on. I see him inside there. He's inside there. He's still inside the moment, but you can't see him in there. See him right in there. And the copy bars are just snoozing together right here. Alright, so I'm back at the ant eater, and all I see are the Patagonian cavies laying down together, so I do not see the ant eater anywhere. See the Patagonian cavies are laying down together. So unfortunately, the ant eater is a no go for today, so that is what they look like. Alright, so I'm back at the caracol to see if he moves, and he's still in the exact same spot he was in before in that log. I guess it must be cooling in there. And I guess it really thinks it's gonna be raining today even though it's the sun's out. I'm back at the Chinese alligator and he's on land now. That's the Red River hogs are up front here in the water. Some really cute piggies. That oh, one's out of the water. Uh, this guy was just making bubbles here. He's blowing some bubbles. Hi there, piggy. <laughs> Other one's on land here. Just digging his nose around through the mud. The mud jack is standing up now. It's a nice little animal. Behind the tree now. Oh, there he is. There he is. Alright, the clouded leopard's now out. 
and a drink of water. It must be really, really thirsty. Alright, so I'm still not seeing the crested porcupine anywhere. Cause I, so this is what they look like. So unfortunately it's a no-go for today. Um, it's clearly the animal's choice if they want to be outside or inside. I just don't see them anywhere. Probably inside there where it's much cooler because it is pretty hot out. Right, so I'm back at the dwarf crocodile to get a better view of it. You actually can see a snout there. Trying to see it. There you go. There you can kind of see a snout right there. Right, so I came back to the castle where to see if he moved. He moved his head up, but he still has not moved from the same spot he was in before. I'm back at the wallabies and kangaroos. See, both the kangaroos are now out together eating some food. The wallaby. Right, so we came back to see if the sloth came out, but the macaws are in there with them now. He's still in the back. So this is what they look like, because it's kind of hard to see them in there, so I'm going to say this is a no-go. We got cotton-headed tamarind. Cotton-headed tamarind right here. It's a cute animal. I think it's the second one in there. Yeah, I do see some movement there. Yeah, there he is. Two of them. A common marmoset. Common marmoset right there. Second one up there. This says habitat has a crusted screamer and you just making some squawking noises. That's a nice bird. It's making some loud grumbling noises. Guess not happy. So here we got red footed tortoise, yellow footed tortoise, and leopard tortoise. That's where we can see the tortoises. All three of them are all puzzling together in there. I can't kind of see all three of them. Alright everyone, that was my visit to the Alexandria Zoo in Alexandria, Louisiana. I had a fantastic time. Saw pretty much almost everything here. Some of the animals here I don't think I've ever seen before, but most of them are animals I have seen. And the good thing about today is that there was no rain today. But thankfully the sun came out and I did see pretty much everything here. The only one I didn't get to see was probably the porcupines. And there was also the anteater which was a no-go. I looked everywhere for it and I just couldn't see it. But I still had a really fantastic time coming here. Leave some comments down below for what was your favorite animal that I saw here. If you have any suggestions, other comments, questions, things like that. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to my channel. I have new videos like this coming up every Saturday at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. If this is the kind of stuff you enjoy, then join my channel. I'm already at 162 subscribers at the time of this recording. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again next time. Bye!